up my movie fanatics and welcome to another Blu-ray DVD update. I have a lot to show you. I told you I was going to slow down one, uh, every, every month. I'm going to slow down you guys. I'm going to slow down. I don't slow down. And what's really cool about this update is that 90% of the pickups are 4K. As I said in the past, I'm really trying to work on my 4K collection. And, you know, I, I just like upgrading now and, and to have them for the future. I do have a 4K TV and an Xbox, so I do get to enjoy the 4K. But I'm hoping in the next year or two that I go balls to the wall and get like a real nice TV and a better player too for it. So I'm done rambling. Let's just jump right into it. So let's start with the Blu-rays. First up here, we have a movie that I didn't think I was going to like, but I actually watched it at a friend's house and I laughed the entire time. And that is Popstar. I want to give a huge shout out to a good friend of mine in a lot of the Facebook groups. And that is Michael. I'm not going to give out his last name. I uh, just, I guess keep him kind of confidential but he does stardust you guys and he's really good at it so go check out his stardust link below go follow him tell him doc sent you but i actually really enjoyed this movie um i do actually enjoy the lonely islands music i think it's hysterical i like that kind of comedic music whatever it's called parody music i do enjoy that very much but this movie it was politically incorrect at times it's just off the wall they make fun of everything it's fun and it's a good laugh if you guys have never seen pop star i highly recommend it next up here we have a scream factory from blu-ray lantern and you guys know i talk about him constantly on my channel he's a great friend and he's always looking out for everybody and he happened to come across this at either goodwill or salvation army i can't remember and he thought of me right away so guys please Go sub to him right now. Link is in the description below. And that is Monkey Shines. I have been wanting this movie. I've seen it a few times at the exchange. And I've read it, the back of it. Actually, a matter of fact, if you want to read the back of it, there you go. Um, It seems really interesting. And I love how it's like an experiment in fear. So, yeah, it's it's. I've heard good things about it. I've heard bad things about it. I just, it's Scream Factory. You guys know how much I love my Scream Factory. And I really can't wait to check this out. So thank you so much, Blu-ray Lantern. I really appreciate it. You're always looking out for me. Guys, please subscribe to him. Link will be in the description below. Tell him Doc sent you. Especially, guys, if you love horror, you have to check out his channel. This next little stack here is from a great friend of mine, Jeff Van Torrey. I met him through Outlaw of the Dead. He's a great guy. We've been talking now for about two years. He loves Stephen King. He loves horror movies. And he actually was getting rid of some stuff, so he got a hold of me right away. He knew I was looking for one of these movies in this stack, which I can't believe I finally have it after all these years. But I want to show you this one first. First up, he was kind enough to send me over. This was a complete surprise, by the way. Maximum Overdrive, the DVD. If you guys didn't know that these movies are impossible to find because they're out of print so i always wanted the dvd i do have the blu-ray import but i always wanted the dvd because you know i don't know it's it just it's maximum overdrive it's one of my favorite stephen king movies he loves it as much as i do so i'm actually honored to have this in my collection um i watched it with him and we laughed the whole time it's, it's such a fantastic movie you guys it's bad though it's cheesy. It's so good it's bad, or it's so bad it's good. Um, what did I say? But it's a great time, and I really wish that they would re-release this or even give us a remake. I'd be really interested to see how they did this movie. Next thing he sent me is a Scream Factory. You guys know I love Tales from the Crypt, and I've been wanting this one. I don't know why I never picked it up. I, I have no idea, but that is Tales from the Crypt Bordello. Bord how do you say it? Bordello of Blood. I probably said that wrong. I have Demon Knight, I love Demon Knight, and I love Tales from the Crypt. I've always loved the Crypt Keeper. I don't know why, it's something about him that's always just, I've always can't help it. Anytime I see him on TV or something, I would laugh. I've never seen this one. I, I have to admit, I've never seen this one. Heard great things. I did hear that Demon Knight is a little bit better than this, but I'm really excited to have this. Um, it has Corey Feldman in it. I'm a huge fan of him. I, I don't know why, I guess Lost Boys maybe. I, I remember watching that all the time with him and um, I mean, he's done all kind of movies like Stand By Me and stuff, but I remember seeing him first in Lost Boys. But can't wait to check this one out. This is going to be a great uh, addition to the Scream Factory collection. This is one I've been needing. Thank you so much, Jeff. So that is uh, Tales from the Crypt, Bordello of Blood. Last but not least, this movie you guys know is very special to me. It has impacted me greatly. I mean, it's, it's the reason why I love horror movies. It still scares me to death to this day. 
and I'm I'm so glad to have his copy too. This is never going anywhere. This will be this is now one of my favorite movies to own on Blu-ray. I have it on DVD and that is The Exorcist. This is the um the extended director's cut and the original theatrical version. Look at this, you guys. This is a great set. First off, let's look at the back. Scary as hell, right? But what's so cool about this set is this booklet you get. What's really cool about this booklet is you get like pictures from the movie, you get uh, you know, fun facts and, and interesting stories and things that happen. Like, there you go, there's the famous picture there that's on the back of that. But it's really cool. I like stuff like this, especially with movies that have impacted me. Um, I like to learn and, and read as much as I can. So this is awesome. I'm, I love when, when you get sets with booklets and things like that. Just wanted to show you guys real quick. Here's what the MRA looks like. A lot of special features there. You guys can pause it. I mean, if you haven't seen The Exorcist, I'm sure you've at least heard of it. Um, yeah, it's great. It's a it's a three disc set. You get a little redder, a little little redder, a little letter from the director there. It's 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 just really cool. It's just simple little things that you know, make this set really cool. And apparently, I don't know if this set is out of print or it's going out of print. That's what I've heard. I could be right. I could be wrong. I don't know. Um, but I actually did see this and only this um, Amore at FYE guys for five bucks. So check your FYEs. But I wanted the box set. I wanted, I wanted, I wanted the works. So if I'm going to go big, I have to go big with the Exorcist. I'm not going to go, you know, it's just what I do. So that is the Exorcist. So thank you so much, Jeff, for sending me that stuff and, and thinking of me first. Uh, I, I really do appreciate it. Guys, once again, please go sub to everybody in the description below. I, I can't emphasize that much. These are really great guys. They're just good people to talk to as well. If you want to talk movies with them, they're, they're, they're great guys. So moving along to the last two Blu-rays that I picked up for last month. Uh, first thing, I, I had to pick this up. So many people, I, I don't even know how many people at this point. If you sent me a link or you messaged me or you told me about it, Thank you, told me about this movie, and I'm so freaking glad that it came out on Blu-ray, and that is Silver Bullet. I, I, this is a big one for me, you guys. There's a lot of Stephen King movies that need um, Blu-ray releases, but this is a big one. And this was uh, released by Umbrella, and look at that. I actually flipped the artwork so you can have the theatrical poster. That is so cool. I love it. Love this movie, you guys. It's it's up there as my, with my favorite werewolf movies next to American Werewolf in London. Fantastic addition, you guys. Um, it, it says it's Region B, I believe. I, I don't know. It said because... Um, yes, it says it's Region B. Now, I put it in my Xbox and it, play, it fired up fine. Um, so don't let... If you've been thinking about getting it and you saw that and it deterred you, don't listen to it. It will play. It's region free. I am so glad that they finally released this awesome movie on Blu-ray. This next one was also a huge release for me. Uh, being outside of Pittsburgh, we take pride in our zombie movies, you know, Dawn of the Dead, Night of the Living Dead. So when I saw the Criterion Collection releasing this movie and giving it the treatment that it deserved, I, I, I fell over and I knew I had to get it, and that is Night of the Living Dead. I don't have many Criterions, you guys. You probably have, I only probably have five or six Criterions, and, but this is a must-have for me. Um, love this movie. I grew up watching it. Uh, there you go. You guys can see all the special features. Give it a pause. Um, some people say it's dated. It could be, but for me, it's been a very special movie. I, I love it. I mean, it's Georgie Romero. What more could you want? The artwork's really cool in this. The only thing I don't like is, um, I'm going to show you guys now when I take it out, is that the box is nice and thick here, the slip box, but... This seems to be cheaply made. Oh, the poster's falling out. And I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of the, the Digipack thing here. It seems to be just, it makes me nervous. I don't know. It feels fragile to me. Um, I do have a couple of these uh, movies, but it's a, it's a two disc. Um, just says Night of Living Dead on it. Artwork, it's the same thing, but really cool. But also what you get with this, um, let me see if I can open it for you real quick is you get this poster that comes with it. Now, I was gonna get this poster for him, the classic girl, everyone's seen this poster millions of times, but on the back here, it gives you, it has all this information. Now, I didn't read this yet, that's a lot to take in, but it tell, it, I guess it's, it's about the movie, and yeah, because it gives about the restoration, what they did, uh, Criterion did, it's like, you know, it's 
just a little bit of everything here. It, it talks about, I guess, what George E. Romero's vision and, and what he wanted to do. So this is really cool. This is why this movie, this is not framed because I do want to sit down and read this and I figured it would be cool to keep with the set. So there you have it, guys. That is Night of the Living Dead, the Criterion. Let me know, guys, what you guys think. I didn't have time to sit down and watch this. I actually kind of do watch it around Halloween more. Um, I wanted to know how the transfer is, so please let me know in the comments below. Moving along to 4K, as I said in the beginning of this, uh, the most of this haul is 4K. It's like I said, I'm really focusing on 4K. I've been upgrading most of the new, uh, anything new that I will try to pick up on 4K if it does have a 4K release. So the first thing I picked up is American Made. Did not have time to watch this yet. Heard good and bad things about it. Some people said that, you know, it's a typical Tom Cruise movie, but I mean, I'm okay with that. Some people said it's really, really good. Um, it's based off of a true story. I love heist movies. So I can't wait to check this one out. Like I said, I've heard mixed opinions. Can we, can we, there you go. I don't know if you guys can pause that and read that. But really cool. Plus it has a slip. I really try to get slips on all of my 4K. It's a weird thing because like Blu-ray, I don't care as much unless it's Screen Factory. A 4K, I'm, I'm real weird about it. Next up is a Christmas classic that I watch every year. I've talked about this before on my channel, how much I love Charlie Brown. And actually, I recently picked up um, Charlie Brown, The Great Pumpkin. So I had to pick up Charlie Brown's Christmas. Love this movie. I, I watch it every year. And this is a great one to have uh, for Brooke and my family. We watch these every year. So this is a really good one here to, to have. And, you know, it's animation. So I, I was really excited to upgrade these because from what I've heard, the 4K is is really good. It's It looks fantastic. So I I really can't wait. I can't wait for next year around Christmas. I'm popping this in with Brooke. She'll be older and I'm sure she'll enjoy it because uh, she's starting to slowly get into TV. She's starting to look at it and stuff and is intrigued by TV. So this will be a fun one to watch with Brooke. Next up here is an upgrade. Uh, I picked up this movie on Black Friday a couple years ago and that is Batman vs Superman. I've been waiting to pick this up on 4K. Uh, they've, they've had like 10 copies at CD Warehouse, but I was waiting for them to lower the price a little bit. Now, guys, I know a lot of people hate on this movie. I personally love this movie. It's, it's awesome. I have fun with it. Is it perfect? No, not by any means. It's not perfect at all. And, you know, I, I get it. I, I mean, I understand where people don't like it. I, I respect that. But I thoroughly enjoy it. I have fun with it. I take it for what it is, and that's it. I, I kind of went into this movie knowing it's not going to be perfect, but I, I do. I enjoy it. Plus, the extended 30 minutes does help with this movie, and it makes it a little bit better. So, yeah, that's great. Plus, you get Wonder Woman. Like, wow. Who's not going to love seeing Gal Gadot in the Wonder Woman outfit? Come on, guys. So that is Batman vs. Superman. I picked this one up for Jess. She is a huge Disney and Pixar fan, as you guys know. And um, now that they're releasing a lot of their four, uh, movies in 4K, I had to pick this one up. I heard a lot of great things uh, about how it looks on 4K. I enjoyed this movie way more than the second movie, and that is Cars. This, to me, this movie went back to the roots of Cars and what Cars is all about. The second movie was more like a spy movie with, and it focused too much on Mater, and I couldn't get into it. But I really did enjoy this one. So it's nice to have this one upgraded, and we'll be showing uh, Brooke this one soon enough. Uh, this is one of Jesse's favorite Pixar movies, believe it or not. It's probably in her top five. Um, well, not this particular one, but cars in general. But um, yeah, it's 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 fun, guys. I say check it out at least once. If you're, if you're a little skeptical, uh, at least run it. But I, I really enjoyed it. This one, Jesse picked up in our movie matchup. If you haven't seen that movie matchup, go check that out under the playlist. But it is a childhood classic that I love. And as soon as we got this, I had to watch it to see what everybody was talking about, the monkeys, and that is Jumanji. Because they said that it looks good on 4K, but the monkeys didn't age well, and everybody's 100% right. The, the CGI was still new at the time. It's not as good as it is now, and it didn't age well. But the 4K itself, the transfer looks great, and I love Jumanji. Um, love Robin Williams. Watching this movie, I had a smile on my face the whole time like I did when I was a kid. This is a good one, you guys. If you can, if you can upgrade, yeah, I highly recommend upgrading. If you were a little bit, you know, I, I've heard mixed reviews on the transfer, but straight up classic that deserves a 4K, and I'm glad I got a 4K. Check it out if you haven't. Next up, I heard nothing but great things about, so I had to check it out. I ended up running it on Vudu, and that is Mayhem. 
Now, this movie is everything that the Belko experiment should have been. I'm sorry I did not like the Belko experiment at all. This movie is brutal, is the best way to put it. There's blood, there's guts, there's hilarious dark comedy moments. This Everything about this movie is awesome. And uh, S Stephen Yun, Yen is fantastic in this movie. And Samara Weaving is fantastic in this movie. They work so well together, it's unbelievable. So if you guys haven't seen Mayhem, I highly recommend it. Next up is a movie that just caught my eye and I'm glad it did. I've heard so many great things about this. I picked it up at CD Warehouse and it was a great price and that is Logan Lucky. I am personally a huge fan of Adam Driver and Jess is a huge fan of Channa Tatum. I've heard uh, really good things about this movie. This is one that we we're gonna sit down and watch together. Um, just haven't had the time. We've been trying to find the time to catch up on a lot of these. From the directors of Ocean 11, 12, and 13, and Magic Mike, I never knew that. I, I literally just saw that for the first time. So I can't wait to check this one out. Um, a lot of people talked a lot about this one in Baby Driver, so can't wait to give this one a watch. If you guys liked it, let me know in the comments below. This next one's also an upgrade. Um, this is one of Jess's favorite movies and also mine. Uh, for Christmas movies, I love Scrooge and I love The Grinch, so when we heard that The Grinch was getting an upgrade, we, we had to. We had to upgrade The Grinch, man. I love Jim Carrey's interpretation of The Grinch. I've always loved this movie. Um, I can't wait to check out the 4K. I hope the transfer is good on it. Um, but yeah, you know, gotta have it. Plus, Jess was really excited to get this one. This this is a must-watch every year for me and her. And yeah, guys, come on. It's a class. What can you say about The Grinch that already hasn't been said? And last of the slipcover 4Ks, I picked this one up in the movie matchup, and that is Jigsaw. I watched this twice now, watched it with Jess and watched it with a good friend of mine. I love it. It brings me back to the first three saws and that's the three that I like. Anything past three for me, I don't like, but this brings me back to what saw is all about. It's awesome. I personally really enjoyed this movie. The second time you watch it, there's a lot more that you pick up on than the first time you watch it. So this is, this is a good time, you guys. If you like Saw, if you're a fan of the series, check this movie out. If you're not a huge fan of it, don't waste your time. I'm just going to be honest. You're probably not going to get into it. But if you are a fan of the series, highly recommend Jigsaw. Now, these next two didn't have slips. I don't know if they come with or they came with slips. If, if they do, let me know. I'll try to hunt them down. First up is my favorite out of the Blonde Camp trilogy, and that is Chappie. Bet you guys didn't see that coming. I personally love Chappie. Jess loves Chappie. Hugh Jackman's awesome in it. And it's just, it's, it, to me, it's an original idea. It's different. It's kind of weird to say this, but the greatest thing about this movie is that Chappie the robot actually is really good at locking you into his character and playing with your emotions. Now, I know a lot of people don't like this movie. I do. I think it has it all. It has action. It has a, a pretty cool moral of the story, which is weird. Like, there's a moral in there. Um, there's drama. There's action. There's even very memorable comedic moments. I I do really enjoy this movie. Um, let me know what you guys think of it. I'm curious to hear what you guys think of Chappie. Let me know. And last but not least is actually a one that I picked up since, you know, you buy three, get one for, well, you get $10 off of it. It used to be buy, buy three, get uh, one free up to a $10 value now. Wanna, thank you, see you else. No, I don't care. I will still be buying everything there. I actually saw this movie in the Walmart dump-in and I didn't know it had a 4K release, so I'm glad I didn't pick it out of the dump-in, and that is War Dogs. I really, really like Miles Teller. I'm not a huge Jonah Hill fan, but I heard Jonah Hill is ruthless in this movie. And he's just, he plays out of his norm, which is a nice change because I, I don't like his normal characters that he plays, but this is based off a true story once again. I've heard more good than bad. Sorry, the, the glare is just unreal right now. You're not going to be able to read that. I've heard more good than bad. Um, really excited to check this one out. Let me know how the transfer is. Let me know if you guys like it below. So there you have it, guys. Thank you for joining me on another update. Sorry that this is coming out at like in the middle of the month. I know I like to get these out in the beginning, but it's just been really hectic at the house lately. If you guys like this video and you want to see more like it, give me a thumbs up. Let's me know you're enjoying my content. If you're new to my channel and you like movies as much as I do, click that subscribe button. And as always, everybody, take care and happy watching.